Hey, good morning everybody. So the first problem that I'm going to record a solution for is here. We're drawing the electric field vectors at two points in space. Um, remember, the electric field has points at all space in all space around this charge. We're just picking out two particular points so we can evaluate the field strength there and see which way it points. Uh, this charge here is an electron, which means it has a charge uh, equal to the fundamental charge negative e or negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Coulomb is a unit of charge, so how much charge it has. <coughs> At point P1, um, we know that the electric field vector is going to point to the right, it's going to, or sorry, it's going to point to the left, it's going to point toward the charge. Anytime you have a negative charge, it creates field vectors that point toward it. So if I picked out another point over here, would point this way, but ignore that for now. And point P2 is twice as far away. Well, we know that the electric field strength E, which is a vector, is equal to K times the absolute value of Q source uh, um, divided by R squared. So if we're twice as far away, the field vector needs to be four times weaker. The electric field strength here needs to be four times weaker than at P1. And it's still going to point to the left, I'm just going to try, to try to draw it four times smaller. There you go. Now we want to find what is the electric field strength at point one. What is the magnitude? And then what is the electric field strength at point two? What's the magnitude there? So let's just put this into our equation. Uh, give me one second here, let me pull up my numbers one more time. Uh, this distance they tell us from here to here is 1 times uh, 10 to the negative 10 meters. And so this distance here would be, since it's twice as far away, would be 2 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. Okay. Let's see here. So Coulomb's constant, which remember this k here is equivalent to uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, so you're welcome to use that as well. That's what the AP uh, class, AP uses this formula right here. Um, and that k is equivalent to 9 times 10 to the ninth power. And we're going to multiply that by the magnitude of our charge here, uh, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And we're going to divide that by our distance, which is squared. 1 times 10 to the negative 10 meters squared. And let's see what we get. So I got 1.44 times 10 to the 11th power. And this is the electric field strength, so we measure it in newtons per coulomb. Remember, the electric field strength is a measure of the force per unit charge, how much force you would have if you placed a charge there at uh, position 1. Okay, cool. Um, to do this for 2, we could do that whole formula again and increase this to 2. But remember, if it's, it's a 1 over r squared relationship and I've doubled the distance, right, then it should just be 4 times smaller than this number. So let's just divide it by 4. And now we got 3.6 times 10 to the 10th power. It's per cool. There you go.